Well, one of the things that we know about HPV is that it's an extremely common infection and that in fact you can catch HPV even after only having sex with one partner. The thing about the vaccine is that it is most effective and really it works if it's given prior to the onset of sexual activity because it's a preventative vaccine. It doesn't treat the virus once it's there. So we really want to give it to a population of young people who have not been infected with HPV. And because we know that once young people start uh, having sexual activity, there's a very, very high chance that they're going to be infected with HPV, then we feel it's much better to give it at a young age when there's a much better chance that they won't have commenced their sexual activity. The other thing too is that we know that the body's immune system in fact works much better to give much higher and more protective um, levels of antibodies to protect us against this virus if we give it in the early teens rather than in the late teens. So it's much more effective to give it at the age of 12 to 13 than it is to be giving it to an older teenager. We can also link very effectively into the school immunisation programs because there are other vaccines that are being given at this age as well. And this means that it's going to be much more convenient for parents to know that their children are going to be vaccinated at school rather than having to make individual appointments. So intimate relationships might be quite a number of years away, but I'm sure that everybody wants to feel confident that they've done the best thing in giving a vaccine that can prevent acquisition of this extremely common virus that sometimes can have some quite serious consequences.